ruin everything. You spoil everything. It was only sex. No! Just stop it. Stop it. I don't care what you've done. I am not have you fighting in this house. Outside, Jace. I want you outside right now. You shouldn't have done that. You know, you think the whole world revolves around you. Mummy's boy. Yeah, well, you would think that because you're so bloody thick, aren't you? Not a brain cell in your head. Oh, so where's brains got you, eh? I mean, you copped out your right, exams. Right. You copped out of uni. You copped out of being a man. And you even copped out of being a dad. You know, it's a good thing your kid did die, Todd. Because I pitied him having you as a father. Or <laughs> <laughs> what? You'll find your other foot in plaster. That'll be because I'll have smacked you in the gob with it. <sighs> Stay away from him. Oh, I won't be yours. Oh, oh, right. Oh! Let go! No, you let go. Oh. <laughs> On your bike. Hurts, <laughs> does it? No, no, no way. You're just a lightweight, you. What about that? <laughs> a nap bite. Oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh, shut up, you! This is women's work, this. Br break it up, the pair of you. Leave us! Look, you've got it all wrong. He's now between me and Jan. <laughs> I wouldn't touch him with a barge pole. At least, not after he's been with you. <laughs> that never stopped you going to the pub with him. I went to the pub with him because he asked me to. Did he tell you that then? <laughs> oh, yeah, right, as if. Sis told me. Ow! Oh, did she now? Did she? Well, she would do, because she's like the concerned daughter. So she'd tell you that, wouldn't she? She's winding you up, love. So you seen him or what? Listen, no brain. My divorce is through in less than a month and I am counting the days down. Oh. So you can have him. He's all yours. Although God only knows what he's done to deserve you. Is this true? Of course it is. Oh. So, are you going to let go then? <laughs> After you, lady. Oh. You both let go together. One, two, three. I said on the count of three. Now, one. Two, three. <laughs> right. Now you, lady, sling your hook. Go on. It's got something in my eye. Oh, oh it's gone right in. Oh, what? Pull the lid down and roll your eye around. Oh, blasted thing. Yeah, let me have a look. Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. I can just see it. I knew it. You bitch. <sighs> We're just getting something out of Sally's eye. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. What was it? A piece of smut? He was. Oh, that's right. Play up to it. There was nothing going on. So why did you come in here? I was looking for you. Why? Because I was just seeing if you're around. We don't normally come home at dinner time. Well, I had some stuff to pick up. Oh, and you just happened to bump into her? Yes. We were talking about Rosie. Rosie? Yeah, she's having problems at a new school and John's trying to help her. Oh. You go to this trouble with all your students, do you? Coming round at dinner time to talk to their parents. How many times? I was looking for you. So I'd like an apology. You can get stuff. Do you think if I was going to have an affair, I'd conduct it in the middle of the factory? Well, I don't know. You tell me. What, when people come walk in, just like you, I've got myself flaming stupid. So why are you looking so shifty? I'm not looking shifty. And if he is looking worried, maybe it's the thought of getting a slap from you. Oh, you're standing your ground pretty well. Because I've got nothing to feel guilty about. Because you're a more experienced liar. I don't have to take this. Ah, uh, that touched your nerve. Look, you try this one more time and I'll have you up for assault and I mean it. You couldn't be more wrong about this, Fizz, honestly. He teaches me. He teaches Rosie. I have to talk to him. Get used to it, okay? 